Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Jellyfin server on Ubuntu. Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is open up the Files app, and we have to create all of the files and folders that we need for Jellyfin. So we're gonna go to the Videos folder, and I've already made a folder called Movies, and you can also put all these folders on an external drive or on a RAID configuration. So we're going to open up the movies folder and I already have my movie in here, but it's not named correctly. So we need all of our movies and TV shows to follow the correct naming scheme. And this also includes specials and subtitles. So to find this naming scheme, we need to open up a browser and we're gonna search for Jellyfin Naming. And on the side, you can choose what you want to name. So I'm gonna choose movies, cause that's what we're gonna do right now. So there are a bunch of different ways to organize your media. The way that I prefer is to find the metadata providers that we're gonna be using. And on Jellyfin, we're using IMDB and the MovieDB. And the MovieDB is typically the default. So we're gonna go to the MovieDB website and we're going to look for the movie or TV show that we want to add. So I'm gonna look for Big Buck Bunny, and this is my movie. So to name this, we're gonna go into the Files app, and we're going to rename our movie to the title, which is Big Buck Bunny, and in brackets, we're gonna put the date that it was released, so 2008. And this is typically all of the information that you need for Jellyfin to recognize your movie. But if you want to be 100% sure that Jellyfin is gonna pick it up, then you can add the IMDB ID in the file like this. And if you have any extras or specials or whatever, you need to make your folder for Big Buck Bunny 2008, and you're gonna put your movie inside of it. And then any specials or anything can go inside of here and they have to follow the movie DB or IMDB or whatever metadata provider you have. So once you've finished organizing all of your media, we need to actually install Jellyfin. So you can do this either through a Docker container or just a bare metal install. And usually a Docker container is preferred for this setup, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna show you how to install it bare metal on Ubuntu. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the Jellyfin website and we're gonna click on download now. And we're gonna choose the install instructions under Debian and Ubuntu. And it's gonna give us a curl command that we're going to copy and we're going to open up a terminal and we need to make sure that we have curl installed. So we're gonna type sudo apt install curl, enter our password, and we're gonna let curl install. And then we're gonna paste the install script in here. And we're just gonna verify our system details. And then we're gonna click on enter. And we're gonna let the install script install Jellyfin. And now that we've installed Jellyfin, we need to complete the setup and point Jellyfin to our media libraries. But if we do that right now, our folders are not going to be accessible by Jellyfin because Jellyfin runs as a separate user account and we need to change the ownership of our folders to Jellyfin. So to do that, we need to go to the folder where our movies are and we need to move our folders into a spot that Jellyfin can access. So we're gonna type sudo mv movies and I'm gonna put this in slash media. So now that it's in a spot that Jellyfin can access, we can go and complete the setup on another computer. So if you did everything correctly, you should be greeted with a screen like this. And we're gonna choose our language and then we're gonna click on next. And then we need to give ourselves an admin account. I'm gonna click on next. And now I need to add our media libraries. So I'm gonna click on plus and we're going to choose movies and we're going to add the folder to slash media movies or wherever your media folder is. I'm gonna click on okay. And then you can pretty much leave all of these other options alone. And all of these can be customized later. So we're just gonna click on okay. And we're gonna click on next. And we're going to choose our country. So I'm gonna choose Canada. And I would recommend choosing allow remote connections to the server, because that means that everyone on the network is able to access the Jellyfin web UI. So then we're gonna click on next. 
and then we're going to click on finish. And it's going to redirect us to the login page. We're going to log in as our admin account. And you can see that it already grabbed our movie. So if we go into movies, we can click on it and we can get all of the details on the movie. But the one thing I don't like about Jellyfin is the default theme. I find it to be a little too boxy and it just seems a little old fashioned. So to fix this, Jellyfin provides an option to give custom CSS code to all of the web clients. So to do that, we're going to click on our profile and we're gonna click on administration dashboard like this. And we're gonna click on general and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find custom CSS code. So now we can just look for a theme that we really like and paste the CSS code into here. So the one that I really like using is called SCYFIN. And we're gonna scroll down until we find the CSS code. And we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this into the custom CSS code. And we're going to click on save and we're going to log out and we're just gonna refresh it. And then the theme should have changed. So now we can just log in again and you should see the new theme applied. So Jellyfin is going to automatically create images for these collections, but it just needs a little bit of time to scan the full library. So it's not gonna do that just yet. So now we can just go in and play our movie and it plays. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.